Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Codemade Mastery. In today's video, let us solve some questions. It is related to musculoskeletal system. So in this video, there will be 5 questions related to musculoskeletal system CPT guidelines. So this is part 1. Let's start with the first question. Before that, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. This is the first question. Which statement about arthrocentesis coding is correct? Option A. Imaging guidance is always included. Option B. Imaging guidance must be reported separately. Option C. Arthrocentesis codes include imaging guidance when specified. And Option D. Arthrocentesis cannot be performed with ultrasound. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is Option C. Arthrocentesis codes include imaging guidance when specified. Option A. Imaging guidance is always included is wrong because only the ultrasound inclusive codes include imaging. And option B. Imaging guidance must be reported separately is wrong because it is not always the case. Only when using 20600, 20605 and 20610, we are reporting imaging guidance separately. Option D. Arthrocentesis cannot be performed with ultrasound is wrong because arthrocentesis can be performed with ultrasound and CPT has created specific codes for it. So, the right answer will be option C. Next question. Which statement is true about coding for casts as treatment or immobilization of fractures? Option A. The cast removed by someone other than the provider who applied the cast is bundled into the treatment. Option B, a replacement cast is bundled. Option C, all services that appear in the musculoskeletal system section include the application and removal of the first cast. And option D, the type of treatment must match the type of fracture. For example, closed fracture must have closed treatment. The right answer for this question is option C. All services that appear in the musculoskeletal system section include the application and removal of first cast. Because in CPT coding for fractures, the initial cast splint application is included in the fracture care code. This applies to closed treatment, open treatment and percutaneous treatment. Always remember, first cast or splint is included in the fracture care service. Option A is wrong because removal of cast is not bundled into fracture care when the cast was applied by another provider. And option B is wrong because replacement cast is not bundled. Okay. In option B, they have given replacement cast is bundled, but that is wrong. Replacement cast or splints are not bundled. Next, option D is wrong because a closed fracture does not require closed treatment okay a closed fracture treated with open reduction internal fixation we have to build open treatment if a closed fracture is treated with percutaneous spinning we have to build percutaneous treatment so treatment determines the cpt code not the fracture type okay next question according to cpt excision of a vertebral lamina commonly used to denote removal of the posterior arch describes which procedure Option A, facetectomy, option B, laminotomy, option C, corpectomy and option D, laminectomy. So, they are asking, excision of vertebral lamina commonly used to denote removal of posterior arch describes which procedure? The right answer is option D, laminectomy. In your CPT manual, in musculoskeletal system, there are definitions related to this, okay? So, check laminectomy. They have given excision of a vertebral lamina commonly used to denote removal of the posterior arch. Please highlight this. Okay. These definitions are about the code for arthrodesis. That is about the code 22590. You can find these definitions. Please highlight it. It will be very helpful while taking your CPC exam. Facetectomy is removal of the facet okay and laminotomy is removal or opening in the lamina not full excision and corpectomy corpectomy is removal of the vertebral body not the posterior arch according to definition the right answer is option d let us move on to the next question 
विच प्रोसीजर इज नॉट कोडेड यूजिंग टू जीरो सिक्स वन जीरो ऑप्शन ए आर्थ्रोटोमी ऑप्शन बी एस्पिरेशन ऑप्शन सी इंजेक्शन एंड ऑप्शन डी आर्थ्रो सेंटेसिस चेक द कोड टू जीरो सिक्स वन जीरो टू जीरो सिक्स वन जीरो इज फॉर आर्थ्रो सेंटेसिस एस्पिरेशन और इंजेक्शन मेजर जॉइंट और बरसा विदाउट अल्ट्रासाउंड गाइडेंस इन द ऑप्शन दे हैव गिवन आर्थ्रोटोमी एस्पिरेशन इंजेक्शन एंड आर्थ्रो सेंटेसिस सो वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन ए आर्थ्रोटोमी वाई बिकॉज द कोड टू जीरो सिक्स वन जीरो डिस्क्राइब्स आर्थ्रो सेंटेसिस एस्पिरेशन इंजेक्शन मेजर जॉइंट और बरसा सो एस्पिरेशन इंजेक्शन एंड आर्थ्रो सेंटेसिस आर एक्जैक्टली वॉट टू जीरो सिक्स वन जीरो इज यूज फॉर आर्थ्रोटोमी इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन दिस सो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए आर्थ्रोटोमी आर्थ्रोटोमी इज सर्जिकल ओपनिंग इन टू अ जॉइंट विच इज अ मच मोर इन्वेजिव प्रोसीजर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर वूड एक्सप्लोरेशन कोड सीरीज टू जीरो वन जीरो जीरो टू टू जीरो वन जीरो थ्री वॉट इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड विच मीन्स वॉट इज नॉट बंडल ऑप्शन ए डिब्राइडमेंट ऑप्शन बी रिमोल ऑफ फॉरन बॉडी ऑप्शन सी लैपरोटोमी एंड ऑप्शन डी क्वाग्लेशन ऑफ मस्क्यूलर ब्लड वेसल्स इन योर सी पी टी मैनल चेक द कोड टू जीरो वन जीरो जीरो अबाउ दैट दे हैव गिवन वूड एक्सप्लोरेशन ट्रामा एग्जाम्पल पेनीट्रेटिंग गन शॉट स्टैप वूड अबाउ द कोड टू जीरो वन जीरो जीरो दे हैव गिवन द एक्सप्लेनेशन दीज कोड्स डिस्क्राइब सर्जिकल एक्सप्लोरेशन एंड एनलाजमेंट ऑफ द वूड एक्सटेंशन ऑफ डिसेक्शन डी ब्राइडमेंट सो वी गॉट द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन दैट इज डी ब्राइडमेंट सो डी ब्राइडमेंट इज इंक्लूडेड नेक्स्ट दे हैव गिवन रिमोल ऑफ फॉरन बॉडी सो दैट इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड ऑप्शन बी इज इंक्लूडेड एंड दे हैव गिवन लाइगेशन और कोआग्लेशन ऑफ माइनर सबक्यूटेनियस और मस्क्यूलर ब्लड वेसल्स ऑफ द सबक्यूटेनियस टिश्यू मसल फेशिया और मसल सो देर इज कोआग्लेशन ऑफ मस्क्यूलर ब्लड वेसल्स राइट दैट इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड लैपरोटोमी इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड सो द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी लैपरोटोमी they have given if a repair is done to major blood vessel requiring thoracotomy or laparotomy then those specific codes would supersede the use of codes 20100 to 20103 it means that laparotomy is a major separate surgical procedure it is not a part of wound exploration and it has to be coded separately if performed make a note of this So that's it for today thanks for watching in the next video we'll solve questions related to musculoskeletal system guidelines part 2